I heard I was talking. I was the only one. Hey, Myron. Started by doing doing the foot. I got that story. You're the one that's asking. Yeah. Maybe me. It was your fault. It was. Come on, the mic box. Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Hello.
We are going to begin today with an activity that is very similar to what we did yesterday. So tracking the screen, please. Andy's tracking the screen. Mariella's tracking the screen. I'm going to give you another envelope, but it's going to be different from yesterday. Okay, I'm going to give you another envelope. Uh, I'd like you to put the organisms in order in the food chain. All right, you're making a food chain just like you did yesterday. Raise your hand, I will check to make sure it's right. And then you're gonna draw it on your paper, okay? So the first, the first step of what we're doing, Diego, the first step of what we're doing today is just like what you did yesterday, all right? So, questions. Tell your partner what we're doing right now. We are Alright, so I need to give you some more arrows. Let's see what we have. 
Okay, so what is in a, in a food chain? What does an arrow represent? The the energy. So is the cricket giving the grass energy? No. So which way should your arrow be pointing? Good. Okay, I like that you have your. What if we move our producers down a little bit? Give yourself some more space. I'm going to give you some more arrows, right? Because things could eat more than one thing, right? Can a bird eat an eagle eat an owl? Yeah. Yes, I would say an eagle can eat an owl. Okay. All right, how many arrows did I give you? I'll do one more. Good. All right, let's see. So you need to use all your arrows. So you need to use all your arrows. No, an owl, does the owl eat them? Could, could I know else a snake can eat a bird. Could, is the bird yeah, but the owl eats the mouse. Could the bird also eat something else? Then the owl, the owl is connected to the owl. Yeah. I thought it was the eagle because the eagle eats it. Oh, yeah, the eagle. Okay, there. This is just confusing. <laughs> So the cricket you're saying can't the bird eat the mouse? Oh wait, yeah, I will eat mouses. Let's put the mice. Alright, arrow should be going from the leaves. This one's a carol. The bird can eat a caterpillar. Yeah. Including a cricket. Okay, I have a try with Yeah. What does the arrow in the movie have to do? Four. These are the top ones to sneak in the eagle. So the leaves are going to Then shouldn't this be facing the other way? Wait, how would the mouse art be? The bird can eat this. Oh wait, no, it's the other way. Owls eat birds. Okay, but a No, the mouse gets the energy from the snake. Okay, well, it depends on the snake. Then you're saying. No, Is that what you're saying with this arrow or no? The snake would eat the bird. Okay. But the snake would also eat the mouse. No, no, no. It was right. No, I'm just telling you what yours says right now. Okay, that's right. That's what you meant? Okay, so I see down here. What it, where is this arrow going? The cricket? So the cricket eats the leaves. And the caterpillar eats the leaves. They both eat both? Yeah. So we're going to need to cross them a little bit, right? They both eat both. Good. Okay. Um, is there some other organism that could also eat the caterpillar? Is the bird only going to eat the mouse? You think it could eat? You need more arrows. I can get you more arrows. Good. So where are your, uh, where are the producers? Where are the primary consumers? Where are the secondary consumers? True question, huh? So secondary, it might be a mouse, right? Or it could be the bird. Where is the tertiary? Snake or the bird or... Yeah, okay. Uh, I had a chance to look at most of yours. I think most of you got the idea. We had to add several arrows, right? What I would like you to do is um, draw the food web on the other side of your paper. If you want, you could just write the name, okay? You don't have to draw a, a picture. If you'd like to draw a picture, you may. Or you could just, for example, for example, you could write the word mouse instead of drawing a mouse. But the most important thing is I need you to still label. What are we labeling? Just shout it out. What kind of labels? Primary. Primary consumer. Secondary. secondary producer. Tertiary. And producer. producer. Good. So on the back of your food chain, I'd like you to draw the food web that you created with your table. 
all the food was that you created. Yes. Okay. You need some more arrows? Okay. Wait, so actually, let's talk about the arrows. What does the arrow represent? Energy. So, is the cricket is giving grass energy? Okay, the, the grass is giving the cricket energy. So, you need to check your arrows, right? Okay, so these two can cross. Because they can both be both. Good. So, we have our producers, our primary consumer. So, here. I can do more arrows. So, so. Okay, so the mouse and the bird. Right, can you eat either one? You're saying? Okay, get stuck. Okay. Then what we'll use stop. the mouse and the bird? That's the Pick it up. Okay, so we need arrows, right? For cricket, I'm going to go. Good. But does the eagle eat, what about, could the eagle eat anything else? Or could the owl or the snake eat anything else? So you could cross these, right? And the eagle can actually eat the owl, right? Or the eagle could eat the snake, right? It's not going to be a line anymore, like a food chain, the whole web. I'm catching air. Alright. I'll send it to Grace. Alright, put your paper over. Go ahead and draw this. Okay, We're gonna write the words. Okay, so write leaves and grass. Good. And you need labels, right? Can we say it? Okay. Looks good. Looks good.
Okay, a primary consumer eats the producer. And one example from your food, what is? Um, cricket eating the grass. The cricket eating the grass. Excellent. Michael, will you share one example from your food web? One example from my food web is uh, from the mouse. And the mouse is a secondary consumer that eats two primary consumers. That is the caterpillar and the cricket. And they both eat the leaves or the grass, which are producers. So where is the energy moving from? And where is the energy going to? From what organism? The energy is moving to the to the mouse and it's coming from the grass and the leaf. Directly? Is the mouse eating the grass and the leaves? No. No, what's in the middle? What's your primary consumer? The caterpillar or the cricket. The caterpillar or the cricket. Good. Hey, Seuss, one more example for us. Um, about the tertiary consumer and secondary consumer. The energy comes from the secondary consumer which puts the tertiary and an example is when uh, owl, I mean a snake eats a bird. Okay, a snake eats a bird. The snake is a tertiary consumer getting its energy from the secondary consumer that is the bird. Thank you. Do you have questions about your food web right now? No questions. Okay. I would like you to turn to page 26 of your textbook, please. Find page 26 in 5, 26 in 4, page 26 in 3, page 26 in 2, and page 26. Thank you, Thor. Arturo, all right, thank you, Iron Man. Diego, find page 26, please. All right, we read. We read part of page 26 um, on Tuesday. I think it was on Tuesday when we first started talking about food chains, right? We read the first section on page 26 about food chains. Today we're gonna look at food webs. Look on page 26 in red where it says food web. All right. So, a food web, and that is highlighted there for you. Tracking your book, please. Cruz is tracking her book. Leslie's tracking her book. I agree. Gentlemen. A food web is a model of the feeding relationships between many different consumers and producers in an ecosystem. A food web is more like a spider web with many overlapping and interconnected food chains. I think we found that out when we had to add more and more arrows to our food chains. It is a better model for the complex feeding relationships in an ecosystem, which usually has many different producers with many primary and secondary consumers. The illustration on page 27 also shows a wetland food web. You can see that the feeding relationships can go in several directions. For example, the food web shows that the runny ducks eat bulrushes, which are producers. That makes the ducks primary consumers. The ducks are also secondary consumers because they eat snails. A food web shows how one consumer can play several roles in an ecosystem. Both food chains and food webs show how different organisms receive their energy. Remember, that's what the arrows mean, the energy. They also show how different organisms depend on one another. If one organism is removed from the food web or food chain, it may affect many other organisms in the ecosystem. Uh, look at page 27. There's a food web. Look at the picture on page 27. There's a food web there. Um, tell your partner, what's one secondary consumer? Tell your partner, one secondary consumer from that food web.
Okay, we need to write some of this information down. Please find your notes from Tuesday. Find your notes from Tuesday. You can stack up the books. You can stack up the books.
two food chains. We did that, right? We had two food chains and we created a food web and that's what you drew on your paper. The second part of the objective, which we are going to do for our exit ticket, the second part, explain the organism's interactions in writing. Okay, we talked a little bit about what was happening in our food chain. We talked about the inner, or food web, excuse me. We talked about the energy transfer. Now I'd like you to write it down. Please remember that your exit ticket is independent work, so I would like you to do it without talking. Please do not look at your neighbor's paper. Michael? You want us to write the whole food web? I'm gonna, I'll show you. So your exit ticket says, explain the interactions happening in your food web. How is the energy being transferred? Use scientific vocabulary to explain which level each organism is. So you need at least three sentences in this food web, I'm not going to count that you have all nine organisms listed, but I want you to explain in general how is the energy being transferred. Tell me which level each organism is that you talk about. Is it a secondary consumer? Is it a primary consumer? Three sentences. If you need to go into the next box because you don't have that much room, that's fine. Yes, from the food web you drew. From the food web you drew.